posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me, cause baby. Hey everybody, it's Purple Haze, and I'm back to give you guys a, uh, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm back to give you guys a you and your person all signs reading, okay? So, you know how we do, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and like the video, comment down below. We're going to start off with Virgos. Um, let's see what's going on between you and the person that you're dealing with. When I say you and your person, it's somebody that you're dealing with, intimate with, relationship with entanglement whoever it is that whoever is on your mind at the moment okay okay so let's start off with virgos happy birthday virgos okay what's going on between you and your person let's see what's going on okay we have the world card in reverse and we have hostilities so virgos with you and your person it seems as if you're tired of fighting against a lie. It's something that this person is lying about and you'll be calling them out on their shit a lot, but they refuse to admit it to you. But it's like, at the same time, you're not going to just settle. You're not going to just ignore it. You're not going to just put it behind you. You want to keep asking questions. You're very confrontational with this particular person because you want to know the truth. Why they keep saying certain things, but all of a sudden it's a delay? Why do they keep making promises but not sticking to them, okay? You have angel of love in reverse and appreciation in reverse okay the lack of appreciation and the lack of respect is what causes a disconnect between you and this person they don't pay attention to your feelings it's like they ignore your feelings or they don't take them seriously and that's what you don't necessarily like about this person that you are dealing with okay virgos oh i was about to end it but two more fell out all tied up in reverse. I feel like you are going to be breaking away from this particular person, like breaking the attachment with this person, okay? Not being as social with them, not talking to them as much. I feel like you guys probably have mutual friends, and it seems as if you want to cut not only him off, but someone that you guys have as a mutual friend, okay? But yeah, that's what I have for Virgos, for their person, you and your person, okay? Let's move on to Libra. What's going on between you and your person? Okay, what's going on with y'all? Libra, what's going on with you and your person? Libra. Ooh. Woo. Libra. You are connecting with someone and the love is in the air. The vibes are really good between you two. A lot of passion. There's a lot of passion between you and this particular person. Like, I feel like who's ever dominant might like the person more than the other. Okay, it has a lot to do with the way you guys do things, the romance part, the um, the creative part. That's what makes it exciting. You guys probably have done things together that you have not done with any in any other relationship or vice versa, okay? But I definitely feel like this particular person... Whoa, let's get those. Okay, these three. Or is it four? These four. Okay, so I do feel like you and this particular person... Um, have a a very strong connection okay you have journey in reverse things might be moving slowly for you guys maybe you guys used to travel a lot or maybe you were supposed to take a major step together maybe move in together but there's a delay okay you have to do something else first it's maybe it's the income your income has to come in a lot faster if you guys want to make this major step in decision so you're going back and forth should i go through with this or should i should i stick to just making money okay should i go through with this or should i just stick to making money Okay, let's see. Um, that was uh, Libra, right? Scorpios. What's going on between you and your person? Okay, Scorpio. What's going on between you and your person? Okay, so Scorpio. Although things are moving slow, whoever this dominant person is, the male figure here, sometimes their money goes up and down but they're trying this particular person is trying they try to save it's just that right now things are not looking too good but i feel like someone here is very patient they're thinking logically like okay at least this person is aware of their mistakes and they're trying to fix them money is the issue at this particular moment whether it's someone who's lacking in the money department or it could be someone who has a really big ego that could affect this 
this particular relationship but i feel like whatever the issue is this person is fully aware of it um carrying connections here at the bottom of the deck deep down inside deep down in this person's heart whether it's you or them there's still a lot of love there there's connection there between you and this person it's just that right now things are not working out financially and you guys are aware of that and you're trying to get past that okay okay Sagittarius. <laughs> Sagittarius, what's going on between you and your person? Sagittarius, what's going on between you and your person? Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Action. Things are moving faster for you and your particular person. They were going quite slow at first, but things are going to start to pick up. Maybe you'll hear from this person pretty soon, okay? But things are starting to speed up between you two. What was that? Strength, angel of strength, and I'm um, not reverse. Angel of strength. So things are going to start moving a lot faster for you guys. You guys are a lot stronger. Someone here has really strong energy. Like their strength is admirable, very independent. Um, the sun card here in reverse. Sometimes that independence causes a conflict between you two because this person worries a lot when they're not in control. So this particular person worries a lot when they're not in control, but the reality of it is. They're just waiting for someone to make them feel comfortable giving up their control. Okay, Sagittarius? Well, that's how you feel. Um, fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael in reverse. Not ready. Let's see. What are you? Some of you are not quite ready for this particular person that's that's either there or coming in. It has a lot to do with you making sure you feel safe. You want to recognize, you want your intuition to tell you that it's okay before you jump into anything. You don't want to jump in, into anything where you feel unsafe or um insecure financial constraint plus there's a lot of um somebody has been managing their managing <laughs> somebody has been managing their money pretty well so i see them this whoever this person that was saving they're they're starting to spend more okay whatever they were saving up for they're going to spend their money on it okay capricorn what's going on between you and your person capricorn what's going on between you and your person Capricorn, what's going on between you and your person? You have community in reverse. Okay, some of you were friends with this person at first. And now you you guys transition from friend to romance. But, hmm, I feel like now that you guys have done that, you feel a little bit drained. I don't know why you're feeling drained about this particular decision. You, you're feeling drained because you don't know if you did the right thing. And you're tired of wondering. You don't know if you did the right thing when it comes to meeting up with this person. Um, you're trying to think logically. You're trying to think more with your mind and less with your heart. You're not walking away from this particular person as of yet. Or at least I don't feel like you are right now. You're not walking away. Huh. You're trying to figure out if this person is really lying about what they told you. Or did they lie about the decision that they made? Okay? If they lie. Did I lie? Okay. Aquarius, what's going on between you and your person? How do you two feel about one another? Aquarius, how do you two feel about one another? Aquarius, whoa, hold on. Aquarius, you have action in reverse, and then you have a hell of a lot of cards that just fell. So let me get that <laughs> real quick. Okay, is it recording? Okay, yeah. So, action in reverse strength so things are moving quite slowly for you and your person but the slowness of it is making you guys stronger you're saving for something but someone's over someone's cheapness someone's being very cheap or stingy with something and it's causing a disconnect between you two okay definitely cause a disconnect between you two but you're getting past it someone here is waiting for a change but they feel like it's going to be a miracle for this person to change this side of them but there's something that has a lot to do with money money managing and this person is finding out finding it to be a disconnect there's a disconnect because someone here was being stingy with their money at first and now they're spending more but not on the things that they should be spending on whoa okay that was uh cat no that was aquarius let's do pisces pisces how do you two feel about one another Pisces, how do you and your person feel about one another? Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. What's going on? Oh, well, it was everything. Okay, so, don't you start allergies. I can feel my nose itching. 
The thinking man walking away in reverse. Mm. Someone here decided to stay because it was the right thing to do. Um, things are moving slow right now, but at the end, you'll be stronger. But someone here felt like, you know what? I'm not going to walk away because it's not the right time. Let me think logically. It's not just about me. But that's what this person is like basically saying. It's not just about me. So I'm not going to walk away as of yet. Okay? Um, isolation. I feel like you're not going to be spending a lot of time with friends as much as you used to, Pisces. Um, you're going to be spending more time with this particular person. There's a lot of cars coming out. Opening up more to this person. You're willing to fight to make this work. Ooh. But money issues and you fighting so hard you it left you feeling disappointed like you feel disappointed sometimes you feel like heartbroken you feel as if this person allows materialistic things to get in the way Aries how does you and your person feel about one another Aries okay Aries you're trying to think things through you don't want to end up acting too fast when it comes to this particular person you're you're li you're literally considering what the hell is that you're literally considering taking your time you're working on your patience aries which is different because you'll think aries is impatient but you feel like this person is worth being patient for the garden in the gate yes very patient someone is being very extremely patient either very patient with you or you are patient with them Ooh, man, woman holding a coin and man holding a heart this particular person with this feminine energy, they're about their money, they're about their goals, and it's a turn on for this person with dominant dominant energy. It's a turn on for them. They got their back throughout the process, okay? You're gonna have sad moments sometimes, but I feel like the love for you guys for each other is what will make you stick with one another. Taurus. How does you and your person feel about each other? Taurus. Oh, Taurus, you have angel of strength in reverse. So basically, Taurus, the person that you're dealing with has you feeling very vulnerable. Sometimes you feel weak. You don't know if you like feeling this way. You don't like putting all of your emotions out there because it makes you feel weak. But you put your emotions out there because you care about this person. You love this person. However, someone here with feminine energy comes up as very judgmental, very manipulative. And because of that, that's why you decided to close the door on that particular person. Okay? Um, opening up a lot more since this person is out of the picture or will be. Okay? You want to get to the bottom of things. You want the truth to come out. You're tired of worrying about things that you don't have with this particular person. Okay? Very patient with one another. You two are very patient here. But the disconnect is what kind of like separates you two. The disconnect separates you two, but the love you have for one another brings you right back together. This is very on and off. This is very on and off. Appreciation is very on and off because someone here is taking the other person for granted heavily, and that person is going to realize that. So whoever this person is better get it together before this other person walks away for not being appreciated. Okay. Um. Dang, y'all. Moving on. Gemini. Gemini, what's going on between you and your person? Gemini, what's going on between you and your person? Gemini, what's going on between you and your person? You feel like this person is your match. They balance you out. They help you think more maturely. Okay, you want to commit with this person. Sometimes this person has immature ways, though. But you're done fighting against it. You're accepting it for who they are. Hmm. Let's see. Spending more, having a lot more fun. I feel like sometimes you don't take this person seriously, although you do have feelings for them or you like them a lot. Sometimes you don't take them seriously. Uh, sometimes you, you see a future with this particular person because they make you feel safe, but then it's like sometimes this person does something. Maybe they're immature, and it makes you reconsider your... Um, it makes you reconsider how you feel, okay? You decided to walk away from this particular person. This is probably an ex... You decided to cut the uh, commitment, walk away, and get over the bad stuff. You ready to forgive this particular person, okay? Um, Cancer. What's going on between you and your person, Cancer? What's going on between you two? Cancer, adjacent possibilities. 
So basically, Cancer, you're dealing with a person who you feel like is to blame for um allowing you to miss, not allowing you. You feel like this person stood in the way of opportunities. Like you missed a lot of opportunities because of this particular person. And it makes you feel very sad. Maybe you feel resentment toward this person due to you guys not being financially okay. You still have a lot of love for one another. There's romance there. You guys are still together because you're comfortable. It has a lot to do with being comfortable. Okay, but it looks like someone here is going to remove themselves because they want someone that makes them feel safe and secure. They want someone who's strong because you they feel like they want balance and you want balance from this particular person, but they don't give you that. Okay, isolation. You guys are very isolated from your friends and family right now. Okay, you're not ready to speak on something. That's why you're isolated from your family. You're not ready to speak on it. Okay. Leo, the last one. Leo, how do you two feel about one another? What time is it? Because I got to get my book. It's 2-2-2, two, 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 y'all. Let's pray. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe. Thank you. Ancestors, for all that you do and all that you will do for every lesson is a blessing. Please continue to shine your positive light on me as well as the people listening to this reading. Okay, I always pray on angel numbers, but okay, we were on Leo. How does you and your person feel about one another? Okay. Let's see. All right. Ooh, and this flipped out too. Leo, let's see what we end in with. Someone here is very, very bitter towards you. Whew. This person who's bitter towards you, on the outside things look good, but on the inside they're hurting. Okay, but you guys, there's a lot of success surrounding the birth, the both of you. Okay, attachment, anxiety in reverse. There's still attachment here. You guys are still involved in some kind of way, but you're not necessarily worried about it for some reason. Um, getting over a heartbreak, becoming more patient. Okay. Money is going up. There's some je there's some jealousy here on both ends. At least there's a dominant, bitter, jealous person, and there's a dominant. I mean, there's a female, bitter, manipulative, jealous person here. Both of these parties give this energy. So there's a male, there's a male figure and a woman figure here, or someone with that energy who, although there's success in the picture on the outside, in inside there's still some like envy here. There's one of you is going to open up about it, about not feeling safe, having trust issues. Someone's going to open up about their trust issues because it's it's causing them to not sleep at night. Maybe they have dreams about this particular person, but this person is not sleeping, so they feel like they need to speak up on it. Okay, but there's some resentment, some jealousy, some manipulation, some bitterness. There was a lot that happened between you and your person, um, Leo, where it's a lot that still has to be resolved. And you guys still have some attachment here. So maybe that's why things need to be resolved because there's still something that's tying you two together, okay? But that's what I have, everybody. Don't forget to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you already did. Thank y'all so much for coming back, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I'm in a place supreme and pure and free.